Hi everybody, here I have Lenovo ThinkPad T490. This laptop was released in the market in 2019. It's still a pretty decent laptop, however it's getting old. So in this video I'm gonna share with you three ideas how to improve its performance. I'm going to perform two simple hardware upgrades, but before I can proceed with them, I have to disable the built-in battery of the laptop. Turn on the laptop, quickly hit enter to interrupt the normal startup and to enter the startup interrupt menu. From it, hit F1 to enter the BIOS setup utility. Using the arrow keys on the keyboard, go to the config table and after that select power. On the next screen, select disable built-in battery, hit enter and after that the laptop will be automatically um, turned off. Uh, this is needed for, to temporarily disable the built-in battery to cut off the power uh, so that you can service the laptop by opening the back cover and replacing hardware components. This step is very important for the safety of your laptop. Once you're done with the servicing, just plug a power supply and this way you automatically enable again the battery. After temporarily disabling the built-in battery of the Lenovo ThinkPad T490, it's safe to proceed with the hardware disassembly so that we can upgrade it. Let's remove the back cover of the laptop. There are six screws that keep the back cover to the chassis of the laptop. You need a screwdriver to unfasten them. Keep uh, in mind that uh, these screws stay in the cover, so uh, you just need to unfasten them gently. After that, using an appropriate tool, for example, a plastic card, you have to gently and very carefully remove the plastic uh, clips so that you can uh, completely remove the back cover uh, from the chassis of the laptop. This is pretty much a standard procedure for all ThinkPads, especially the T-Series. To make things easier, in this video I'm using a WowStick screwdriver. This is a gift from a friend. Uh, he recently asked me, why don't you use this screwdriver in your video? So here we go, I'm using this screwdriver in the video and it's pretty cool. Thank you very much for the gift. The first hardware upgrade is to insert new solid state drive. I purchased a Micron SSD, the capacity is 512 gigabytes. The interface is M2 NVMe PCI Express 3.0. The form factor is M2 2280. To place the new drive, using a screwdriver, remove the small screw that holds it to the motherboard. After that, carefully place the new drive into the motherboard and again, using the screwdriver, fasten it to the motherboard tightly. According to the datasheet provided by Lenovo, ThinkPad T490 supports up to 1 terabyte of M2 2280 SSD. So if you want, you can even uh, plug a 1 terabyte drive. The second hardware upgrade that I'm going to perform is to add additional RAM. Lenovo ThinkPad T490 comes with one memory solder to the motherboard and one DDR4 sodium slot which allows you to perform an upgrade. This particular model came with 8GB solder to the motherboard and I'm inserting a RAM memory stick with extra 8GB. This will give me 16GB in total. ThinkPad T490 supports the memory type DDR4 2400. The extra memory slot that I've just used is dual channel capable. I have already performed a couple of hardware upgrades on this laptop. As you have seen, I increased the RAM and added a new SSD. Now it's time to have a look at the software. Instead of using Microsoft Windows, I'm going to install Ubuntu Linux distribution. There are hundreds or even thousands of Linux desktop distributions. This is the beauty of open source, you have a lot of choices. However, it's sometimes difficult to pick up the right one for you. Ubuntu is one of the very popular Linux distributions, it's user-friendly and I have been using it for more than a decade. I have prepared a bootable USB stick for installation of Ubuntu 24.4, this is a long-term support uh, release version of Ubuntu. After turning on the Lenovo ThinkPad T490, I have to quickly 
enter the startup menu and make sure that the laptop will boot from this USB stick. The installation is straightforward, pretty simple. You just click next, 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 uh, select your username and uh, create a password. In my personal opinion, based on my personal experience, Nowadays, it's even easier to install a Linux distribution such as Ubuntu rather than uh, Microsoft Windows. I removed the login screen on startup. This is not a good idea in general because security matters and it's good to have a solid password and to enter it each time when you turn on the computer. However, in this video, I wanted to make an experiment and to see the boot time on ThinkPad T490 after the upgrades. As you can see in the video, it takes about 20 seconds after pressing the power button to turn on the computer and you get into a fully working bootable Linux desktop environment. And this is happening on this five years old laptop really fast without any performance optimizations yet. Also keep in mind that Ubuntu is not a lightweight distribution. It comes with GNOME, which takes some system resources. I recommend using Linux and open source in general and I think Ubuntu is a really good fit for Lenovo ThinkPad T490. Even by today's standards, Lenovo ThinkPad T490 is a pretty decent laptop. It's excellent value for money, especially if you perform the same simple upgrades that I did. These upgrades can be done at home. You don't need special tools or skills. They're pretty easy and straightforward to be done as you have seen in the video. Thank you very much for watching. Please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel, leave a comment below and stay tuned for new videos. See you soon.